we're going to be talking about Chen Xiang Wu, a nuclear physicist. She was born and raised in China, and she moved to America when she decided to go to college. So she grew up in a society where people didn't really believe in the, in the value of education for girls, but her father was able to let her go on with her education. She essentially came over from China and did this huge leap of faith to ultimately become one of the most successful physicists of all time. She actually was known as the queen of nuclear physics. Her biggest scientific accomplishment was disproving the law of parity, which is the switching of signs in the time and space axes. So she put cobalt in this chamber and she made it really, really cold and then it started to decay and then it would turn into nickel, but then it would release gamma rays and electrons. But that didn't happen in the mirror universe, so she disproved the law. It's not every day a uh, indubitable natural process is disproved. Her work ethic was very famous among other co-workers and co-scholars. She won the Comstock Prize in Physics, the National Medal of Science, uh, the Wolf Prize in Physics. She wrote Beta Decay, which is standard reading. She was the first woman president of the American Physical Society, which is a huge society today, and they host all the conferences, and they're like one of the very main players in physics. I think there's a big stigma behind the STEM fields, especially physics and math, that it's only for certain people. I think that stigma can sometimes be misconstrued as part of the past, but I still think it's very relevant today. But by just having someone who has gone through same struggles that I'm going through now, I think that's inspiring. And we need to get these people who have been not in the spotlight in there. You know, they deserve it and their accomplishments are groundbreaking. And I think it's a great um, time for us to celebrate our own identity. It might not change the world, but it might change some perspective.